Hi there students. To give someone the benefit of the doubt. Okay, let's see. In the British legal system, you are innocent until you are proven guilty. So the onus, the responsibility is for the prosecution to prove that you are guilty. If they can't prove you're guilty, that you've committed a crime, then you will be found innocent, you will be deemed innocent. And effectively, that is giving someone the benefit of the doubt. Okay, so in this life, most things are not totally clear, and you can't be 100% certain what someone else did or what someone else said or how they acted and even if you don't believe them it's difficult to be a hundred percent sure that they're lying that they're not telling the truth and in this case you need to give them the benefit of the doubt so if someone says to you well i'll give you the benefit of the doubt they're saying, I don't really believe you, but I'm not going to hold you accountable. I'm not going to say you did it, yeah? So the student comes to class and I say, why haven't you got your homework? And he says, my dog ate it. Well, I can either give the student the benefit of the doubt, or I could ring the student's parents and say, did the dog eat the homework? And then if the mum says yes as well, I still have to give the student the benefit of the doubt because maybe the mum isn't telling the truth either. So if somebody makes a lame excuse, a poor excuse, um, and you don't want an argument about it, then you have to give them the benefit of the doubt. So the benefit, the positive side, and the doubt is, say, is the fact that you are not 100% certain. You can't prove it beyond all reasonable doubt. And that's the idea. So if he says, I'm sorry, I didn't understand your instructions, and I thought I'd given him really clear instructions, I might get really angry or I might give him the benefit of the doubt. So to give someone the benefit of the doubt, not to hold somebody accountable, not to blame, not to be angry with someone uh, because you're not sure that their version or this version of the story is not true. Okay. Let's see, what about formality? I think to give someone the benefit of the doubt is a neutral phrase, yeah? You could use it with your friends in the pub and it sounds quite good. And it's something you can use in your essays as well, okay? And just remember, give, gave, given, irregular verb. So he gave me the benefit of the doubt. They have given you the benefit of the doubt, okay? So, if you enjoyed the video, give it a rating. If you say that the rating button doesn't work, I'll have to give you the benefit of the doubt. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. To give someone the benefit of the doubt.